Hey, what's up? Brad Webtech here with another video. So, I know I haven't posted in a while and that I didn't do the Smartphone Awards 2021. So, why not start up 2022 by giving you the best phones you can buy this early 2022. So, all these phones came out last year, but the good thing is they are not old, one, and instead they got cheaper and of course better software updates and better optimization over time. So here are 8 phones you should consider buying in 2022. First on the list is the Samsung S21 Ultra and if you read my review on the S21, I did call it a wolf in a wolf's clothing. Just like the Apex Predator, the S21 Ultra features a sharp design, aggressive camera module, all combined by a powerful specs makes this just the easiest phone to recommend and the Galaxy S21 Ultra doesn't pretend to be anything aside from being what it is, an apex predator in the smartphone kingdom, where it slays most of the competition. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has the most powerful hardware, a large size battery, good serial speakers and a pretty advanced camera module just saying among the best we have so far. Also, the support for S Pen makes this almost a complete phone except for a few disadvantages like it's bulky and there are no headphones and chargers in the box. And for the fact that different regions have different chipsets which have difference in performance. Well, if you aren't into the Samsung world, then introducing the Samsung Killer, the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. I named this the Samsung Killer in my review and for a simple reason. Xiaomi took everything that Samsung did good and made it perfect. For instance, Samsung had no charger in the box, Xiaomi comes with a 67 watt fast charger. Samsung had the best display with, with 1500 nits, Xiaomi comes with 1700 nits HDR, which maxes out at 120 refresh rate. But this doesn't mean that it doesn't have any shortcomings. For instance, just as it perfected everything Samsung offered, it also became heavier and bulkier. Also, it has a great rare display but whose use is underutilized. Anyway, it has a great camera, best in the market, at least we give it that. And if you're not in the market for a Xiaomi or a Samsung, then maybe an iPhone will do. Thus, introducing the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. The iPhone 13 Pro Max had a good time with a lot of improvement, especially on three major areas. Display, battery, and camera. They introduced a 120 hz display eventually, though very late, but works like it should. A great camera might say industry leading, at least due to the processing power. And then the improved battery size, well optimized for more than a full day use. We hardly talk about the processing power of the A15 bionic chip and this is what i got to say you want a phone that you can push the limit and it still can handle it grab the iphone 13 pro or pro max alternatively if you want a great phone that will handle almost everything you put it through and it's affordable then think no further than the google pixel 6 if you want the best phone in terms of pricing and camera and artificial intelligence then the google pixel 6 does this combining it with the new tensor chip this is the best deal for the buck. I said this earlier in my full review. The Google Pixel 6 provides the best Android experience for the buck. With the outstanding cameras, smart picture editing tools, and great Google Assistant features. Priced at $599, US there's no better phone that will compete with the Google Pixel 6. Offering 5 years Android experience and update is kinda difficult to get these days. While this is the best phone and easy to recommend, battery optimization is still an issue including a slow fingerprint sensor, all which can be sorted with a future update. Another limitation is storage is capped at 256 which is just enough for most of the use. If all these do not excite you, then the most compact phone of 2021 will get you thinking. That's the iPhone 13 mini. The iPhone 13 mini is a very capable phone, the best chip in the market, a great camera module, making it a good combo. Those of us who want vlogging phones are affordable. This is the best compact phone that's very easy to recommend. Price $100 top of the Pixel 6 phone. This almost perfect mini iPhone has some flaws. For instance, the notch is still there. There's no 120 hz refresh rate. Fast charging is capped at 25 watts. I guess this is because of the long battery life. Well, let's get the best gaming phone out there. The ROG Phone 5. At number 6 in the list, ROG Phone 5 has a series of phones with some confusing name. I guess it's an Asian thing, maybe. Asus is the undisputed king of smartphone gaming. And this still stands. 
four iterations of the ROG lineup, the phone will handle any elbows you put it through and that's just what it's meant to do. And if you are in the gaming industry then not looking anywhere else, this is just the best phone to buy. Except for a few hiccups in the software, ROG phones has a great 144 hertz refresh rate, the Snapdragon 888 chip maxed at 18 gigs of RAM and has an incredible camera module with average battery life. Full review of the ROG phone is in the description and all phones in this list. And if you've watched up to this point, then a sub to the channel would really mean a lot. Thanks for subscribing. If you want a budget phone, then look no further than the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Number 7 on the list, this is the most affordable phone that has few or no cutoffs. Currently priced at $250, this budget phone comes with 108 main camera lens best in the class, an AMOLED screen with 120 refresh rate, support for 5G and max out with 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of storage, though expandable with an SD card slot provided. This is an easy one to recommend to anyone with $250 budget. The Redmi Note 10 Pro isn't flawless, but it has enough flaws to be forgiven and forgotten about. Although the Note wasn't designed to replace the flagship, it is closing the gap and soon will be breathing down their necks among compact phones. You ever heard of the phrase, cheap phones are getting good and good phones are getting cheap? Well, the Redmi Note 10 Pro is a good definition of this phrase. Another compact phone is the Samsung Z Flip 3. I still don't believe phones should have movable parts. That's something that I'm most likely to debate more about, but Samsung is conquering the foldable industry. And if there is any compact foldable, is the Z Flip 3. The Galaxy Z Flip 3 is being marketed as a fashion statement. Well, the look and relative novelty of the form factor remains its main selling point. It's not entirely devoid of practical. When folded, it will fit in places normal phones won't fit. Though admittedly it may not be the best for tight jeans fitting. And when unfolded, it will greet you with one of the best displays around. It also has water resistance and comes with improved materials all around. That ends our list. Here are some honorable mentions. The Samsung Z Fold 3, Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite, Xiaomi Poco S3 and Motorola Moto G 40 Fusion. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, catch you in the next video, peace out, and make sure to subscribe.